All right, so welcome to In Rays of the Light. This is a post-apocalyptic game that um, has a bit of a oppressive atmosphere, so it's a little spooky, a little spooky at times, but it's not an outright horror game. There's no enemies to worry about. You can't die. It's full. It's narrative-focused. So, <clears throat> and it takes about two hours to beat, so I figured we could do it in a one-shot stream. In Rays of the Light. Once you launch this game, it goes straight into a cutscene and then the gameplay. There's no opening menu, so... That's why I waited, and also why I'm glad I chose to do this as a live stream. Ah, yes, the passage of time. A great time lapse, if you will. Just to show that this is a, during a time where a lot of buildings have been abandoned and the vegetation has grown over them. Oh, okay, now you want to get into the whole... Let me just make sure subtitles are on, if there are any. I don't see the option, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick with it. Okay. New game it is, then. And we wake upon a television. Hello there. Oh, we can jump. Don't know why we'd need to, but it is an option. Wow, the camera turns way too slow. Let me change that. Perfect. There's my cinematic camera. Okay. What have we here? Can't interact. Can't crouch. Can jump. Don't know why. I'll be taking my leave then. I didn't open. Ah, here we go. The light will lead you. Well, okay. It might be useful. No, it's just a flashlight. What use could a flashlight possibly be in an abandoned dark place? I cannot help but wonder. Although, to be fair, it's really not that dark. Hello? Probably because it's bright outside. Everything is decrepit, though. Oh, cool. Now I have a weapon. Is it for the bonking of... Yep. Yeah! There we go. Yay! I did a thing. Oh, hello. Was that the ghost of Christmas past? I hear whispering. Freedom! Can't go. Ugh, unfortunate. Well, then I guess we'll just have to open this. No? Okay. Was this not where I was supposed to go? This wall looks suspicious. Thought I might have to break it down. Oh, you can turn the subtitles on and off by clicking down the left stick. Okay. Well, that's stupid. That's <laughs> really stupid. Um, okay. Guess I gotta go this way. I don't see anything else for to do. Do you open? I, God damn it. Yes, you do. Right in my face. Hmm. 
Not seeing a lot here to work with. Well, I have the feeling whatever I need to do is over this way, because this was the door I had to pry open, so obviously there's something to be done. Hmm. What am I missing? It feels like I should be able to go this way. Oh, I can! I was just trying the wrong side of the door. Well, excuse me for all my foolishness. There's an X on here. Ah, of course it is. I can't read that. Okay. Knock, knock. If there's a body in here, you should know. I have a pipe. Nah, it's not that kind of game. It's a little bit that kind of game, but not really, but a little. Just a minute smidgen. Well. Who's your lunch date with, hun? Oh, it's not Funky Hurdles and Chapstick Rick, is it? Hey! <laughs> Oops. It's a good idea to check this wardrobe. Well, I will if I can get outside. How am I supposed to do that? There's paint on this pipe, too, that I'm carrying. Ah, here we go. Alright, then. Look, you do you and I'll do me, okay? Let's just give each other a wide berth. All righty then. What's this? A picture of a plane. Oh, okay. Oh, is that what you meant by lunch date? When you understand and... When you understand and the orders, the images will give you an answer. Okay, so airplane. So there's more than... It says images, so there's more than one. Oh, I have to find three pictures that will somehow give me the code I need. Is there a number on that plane? Yep, a seven. Okay, I see. I see. Where are the other pictures then? That's what I need. That is what I need to do. Aw, oh, this'll be an easy puzzle as soon as I can find all the Pikachas. Yarp. Aha! Not aha. Just a TV. Wait. No, I don't see a number in there. Never mind. Ooh, what's this? Oh, cool. I gave myself a little light to work with. I guess that's fine. Surely the place won't burn down or nothing. Okay. He's definitely holding that pipe like he's getting ready to fight something. Or she. I actually don't know who we're playing as. Okay, I don't see anything in here. Yeah, how are you supposed to play this without the flashlight? I mean, I guess you can kind of see in these rooms. It's not that dark. 
What still? Ooh, is this? No, these are just panels on the wall. Okay, well that's not a picture. Well, there's a number three right here. Is that is that part of it? Is the three part of it? I haven't gone downstairs yet. Ooh. Why does that thing make such a loud banging noise every time I turn it on? What the hell kind of flashlight is this? Excuse me. These doors are rude. Oh, it's a birdie! Glad to see you. I got a, I got a trophy for that. Hi. How you doing? All right, bye. Well, that was beautiful. A nice little moment of serenity. What else we got going on here? Still can't find that picture I'm looking for. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for anymore. Black and white, or grayscale pictures with numbers on them. Are they all airplanes? They can't all be airplanes. Are they all airplanes? They might all be airplanes. Uh-huh. All right, well, so much for that. Hmm. Check this area now. I mean, I guess I could leave the light on. It's not like it has... It's not like there's a resource management thing for it. You are here. Oh, cool. Map. Excellent. <laughs> yes, my sentiments exactly. Sometimes these indie games, the people who make them, English isn't their first language. <clears throat> but it's okay, because they still make good games. I just checked it. Okay. Oh! It, something actually came out of it. I'm getting all kinds of trophies handed to me left and right here. Alright, I guess that's the end of that. I like how we're using a pipe to pry planks off of doors instead of a crowbar. It's kind of an interesting difference. All right, that wardrobe that fell out the window should be over here somewhere, I think. Well, glad to know that this is a place we can leave any time we want, you know, just in case things get too spooky. <laughs> they won't. It's not that kind of game. It's a little bit that kind of game. But it's not. But it is. A little. What's down here? I'm getting so distracted. Yeah, okay. Gonna need a key for that. Can I get back up? Without... Okay, thank you. Okay. I had to jump the first step, and then the rest of them worked normal. That was weird. Where's that wardrobe? Where did it... It fell off... I wish I could sprint. I wish so badly I could sprint. Oh, you can sprint! Haha! -ha! Good to know. Well, I'm gonna... <laughs> Is this it? I could have swore this thing fell on its ass. No, there's no yellow X on it. It's not that one either. Those are red herrings. I think this might be. No, there's no yellow X on this one either. What in the bloody hell? The wild goose chase. Is this it? I think this might be the one. Definitely splattered that son of a bitch. Hmm. I don't even remember what window I pushed it out of anymore. I got so turned around. This is where I came out. Am 
Might as well see what's over here. Of course it is. Okay. Obviously, I have to do things in a certain order. Oh, no worries, my friend. No worries whatsoever. Welcome, welcome. You haven't missed much yet. I'm a little lost on what I'm doing. All I know is... I mean, we woke up in this place staring at a TV static, and I've ripped a few planks off some doors. There's been some spooky whispering, and a door opened on its own, but besides that, nothing too paranormal. Can't jump up there. I pushed a wardrobe out a window, and now I'm trying to figure out which wardrobe it was I pushed out the window, because I was told I should check on it by the by the game itself. Whoa, okay. Oh, that's my inventory. Yeah. Well, this should help maybe a little. Except not really. Holy fish eye lens. Okay. I don't think it was either of these wardrobes. I'm gonna go back in for a minute and try to figure out which wardrobe it was I pushed. Or which window it came out of so I can figure it out a little bit easier. I have a good sense of direction, I just need to... See, because I can't open this. Right. But there was a yellow X on the wardrobe I pushed out the window. Which wasn't here. Was it here? I could have swore it was close to the door with the yellow X on it. I could have swore it was like literally right next door to it. But that door is gone now? I thought it was here, but I don't see it. This is locked, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. I thought I was retracing my steps, but now I'm actually lost. Wait, is that another... That is another picture. There's a zero in this one. Okay. Alright, so I found two of those pictures now. One's a zero, one's a seven. But how the hell do I tell which order they go in? I need one more. Hmm. Okay, so there was that one with the buildings with the zero, then there was one with a seven with an airplane. Is this the one I pushed the wardrobe out of? Yeah, it was. There's a yellow paint right there. Okay, there's the wardrobe I pushed. It's the one that's lying on its back. Okay, so... If I go... It's the best way to know. Okay, so it's around that corner. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. I know where to go now. I know where to go for that wardrobe. Hopefully the last picture I need is in there. Seven, zero, what? Okay. So this is the wardrobe I pushed out the window, but... I don't seem to see anything important around it. Even though the game literally told me to come check on it. Oh, here we go. It looks like a key from basement. Okay, so I found the basement... Oh! I know where this goes. I do believe I know where this goes. Yep. 
Yeah, I was correct. Oh, good. This ain't spooky at all. Oh, cool, a lighter. Ugh. All that does is remind me that I still have more episodes of Visage to record, and I don't want to. <laughs> I really don't fucking want to. Okay. The tank is empty. We need to find some... Na -na 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 gasoline. Okay. How do I light her? I have a... Oh. Okay, so that's kind of cool, except there's a bunch of explodey barrels. So yeah, um, I thought the game was pronounced Visage, eh, but then I googled the word, and apparently it is pronounced Visage, and it's a real word. It means um, a person's face, but specifically within the features and details. So, uh, I'm like, oh, okay, I feel like a blind fool. We divided people into groups for the sake of control. A crowd of a few hundred people formed, making things a bit complicated. There was no panic. Most of them realized the gravity of the situation, which was better for everybody. People were making jokes discussing something and were trying to maintain the morale. The old door was opened easily. Groups of young people started to carry everything downstairs. Labels, pallets, boxes of food, and water. This must have been when the apocalypse happened, because this is a post-apocalyptic game. Okay, so where am I going exactly? Does this open? No? What's to be done down here? What am I missing, my friend? Okay, so I got that note. Is this another thing I need to pick up, or is it the same thing? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Uh, maybe I can't do anything down here until I have the gasoline necessary to do what I need to do. I guess I'll come back. Storage building, 18. Yeah, I get, wait. Okay. Yes, I shall return when the time is right. Okay, now I need to find myself one more picature somewhere around here. That will get me inside that one thing, or I can just sit here and play Guess the Numbers all day. I have two of them. What could all the combinations possibly be? There, that three sitting there? I'm beginning to wonder if that three is part of it. It's not on a picture, but... It feels like it's standing out for some reason. Of course, that's assuming I could even find the room that had the... Wait, was this open before? Oh yeah, it was, it was, because I lit the lamp in here. Yeah, I still don't understand why there's a picture of an airplane on this TV. I... Is this the room with the lock? It is. When you understand the orders, the image will give an answer. Yeah. It was like 073, I think. Or 307, I don't know. Nope. Nope. <laughs> eh. I should probably actually try to find the other number.
There's only so many rooms with pictures on the wall. Did I find that other one downstairs? I think I might have found one of them downstairs. Gotta sh search every crook and nanny. There is no... There is no regret. We all deserve it. The way that those R's are written, they look like Z's, and I almost said... I, I almost thought that said Zeitgeist. There is no Zeitgeist. Okay, so yeah, there's this picture, which we saw. Can't get in here. For whatever reason. But no, there's a yellow X on the door, and it definitely seems like we should be able to get in there. We definitely need to at some point, I think. Okay, just going back the way I came. Wait, is that a... No, okay. Damn it, I fell for that before. I thought that was a picture. Wait, so far I've found both pictures on this upper floor, so I think it might actually be up here somewhere. And I might just be a blind moron. It's gotta be. Just an FYI, I'm not against using a walkthrough for Visage either, because, quite frankly, even if you know where to go and what to do, you still have to survive, and that's the hard part. No, there is no combat in this game. The pipe is for the purpose of, um... Okay, so I got that, and I... What the hell did I just get? Whoa, what is he doing? Anytime my... Oh, you can use the touchpad as a as a mouse. But why would you? That's that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. That's shaky and distracting. Okay. Um no, the pipe is for um breaking things and pulling planks off doors and stuff. There is no combat. This is a walking sim game, but there are spooks occasionally. Uh later in the game it gets a little weird from what I understand. Okay, so now that I have this thing, where the hell am I supposed to put it? Wait, what do I even have? What did I pick up? Looks like a film reel. Where am I to put a film reel? In here? No, that doesn't seem right. It's a gross bathroom I don't think I've been in yet. Why was there a window in the bathroom? Unless the wall just came out. I mean, why was there a window like that in the bathroom? You know what I'm saying? Like, literally right there? Yeah, no. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. That's an eight. What are these pictures for? Well, there's the four I was looking for before. But now I got an eight on something else. I did get a trophy for messing with that vending machine earlier. I've gotten a couple of trophies in this so far just for doing random nonsense things. Quite fun. I will run in circles until I find the thing I'm supposed to do because that's how it works sometimes. Can't pick up that watch. 
I don't remember seeing a projector in any of these rooms, though, if I'm being honest. I don't have any freaking clue what this film reel goes to. I will find it, though, by golly. Maybe I should be using this map, even though it looks like shit. Okay. I don't know what any of these things say in the middle because it's too... Oh, I think I need to get into the lecture room in order to use this. But how? Yeah, the lecture room would make sense for a film reel. But the lecture room is locked. Last I checked, unless... Oh, there's white. There's yellow paint. Oh, right. That's what led me in here in the first place. Of course. So, wait. Do I follow the paint out now? Is that the, is that the thing? Is there more paint? I don't see more paint. Lies and slander. That's where the wardrobe was that I pushed. That only helped me so much, though. You. I need to figure out what your deal is. Why can't I get in there? Yeah, there's a projector inside that... <clears throat> okay, see, so that's, that's one of the entrances there that's been boarded up. See, if we look at, like, right here, uh, here's the lecture hall, right? This is where I need to go. There's a red question mark there, which leads me to believe that that's where I'm supposed to go. But I can't get in this way, because it's locked. At least I think. I don't know what that red dot is. Teacher class archive. The stairs are here. Let me use the stairs as a starting point to see where I'm going. Then I'll know. Then I'll know. Okay, here are the stairs. These particular stairs. And the stuff's off to my right, so... To my left. That doesn't... Oh, okay. So it's these stairs. These are the stairs I'm at. Okay. So the lecture thing is there. So if I go forward and down, I should be able to get in there from one of these ways, you would think. Because I can't get in that way. Okay. Right, no, but these rooms, yeah, they're just in front of it, but they don't, yeah, they're blocked off. They don't lead to it, unless there's like a secret passage I'm missing or something. Is that the bus up ahead? I think that might be it. Looks big enough to be one. Oh, look, another building I didn't know about. Wow. You really gotta go a little ways off the beaten path. Oh, no. Well, wait a minute. Nope, clearly that's the wrong bus. Ah, here's one. I'm coming for you, bussy boy. get in here. Oh, I saw that. Aha! Yep, stuff like this is why the pipe. Get up. Get up, damn. Come on. Do you not know how to walk like a normal ass person? Oh my god. I jump up and I slide down. Do you not want me in the bus? It's the whole reason I could open the door was to get in. And now it won't let me in. What the fuck?
Okay. Let's try the other door. Nope, that's not gonna work. I think I have to go in through that door. And there's the fuel canister I need. If you're not gonna let me do the thing I'm supposed to do, then what the fuck? Jesus Christ, I had to sprint? I had to sprint! Okay. Oh boy, it's the discovery music. I did a thing. Alright, time to go to the basement. Now we're making progress. You can tell because there's music. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think this game was developed by, like, one person, so... Alright, I see we got some music going. Here, I got your damn gas. Now what is it good for me to do? Well, that didn't do shit. What was the point? Gas in that song, bitch. What am I missing now? Not sure if it has anything to do with that. I don't think, is there anything in these barrels? I don't think there's anything in the barrels. feel so, so tricked. It's, um, I think maybe Russia. Okay. So... Okay. I wish... I, I prefer it when games have some kind of indication of the direction that you're supposed to go, you know? Like, I feel like a game that expects you to run around in circles until you figure it out isn't really respecting your time. <laughs> I do like most walk- I, I, I like walking sims, but usually they're pretty linear, so it's pretty easy to figure out where to go next. Ah, I see. I see what to do here. Yep. I hate it when games are like, yeah, why don't you just pixel hunt for a while and see if you find anything? You fucking need any sort of guidance. It's one of the things I hate about Visage, if I'm being honest. I'm about to use a walkthrough for that whole game, I swear to god. Oh, you see, things are starting to get spooky. That was a pair of footsteps that was not mine. Now, if this was Visage, I would be freaking the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, here we have one, three, four, five. Okay. What the 
hell is that? That doesn't look like humans, it looks like lizard people. Or like the Silent Hill nurses. What the fuck? Can't open that. Is that something down there? I can't tell which of these things are actually things and what aren't. Oh, another note. I left everything in the lockers. I washed and oiled the parts so everything was okay. The second door is slightly harder to close, but it works normally if I start by pulling the other doors. It's funny. The clock stopped running as it should tomorrow. I'll bring the batteries. So the door... If you pull all the other doors, then the door isn't the door. I don't know. <laughs> Is that another pipe, just in case? A fire extinguisher? Now that all the others are open, can I open this one? Do I have to frickin' pry it open? God damn it. Wait, he said it's easier to close if he pulls all the other doors first, so it's easier to open if all the other doors are closed? God damn it. It's not a very straightforward hint. God of Walking Simulator. <laughs> Is it for taking so many steps? So there's the two right there. Confused as to why that's there. I guess I should have looked this way first. No, wait, this is the way I came in. What am I doing? Am I out of touch? No, no, it's the children who are wrong. <laughs> Do you, and you don't open, right? I don't understand. So you have to open the lockers in the order one, four, six, two. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? I like these types of games normally, but this one is, um... This one is bad at, um, logic. What the hell? Well, that was interesting. Take this fuse to the basement so we can defuse the situation. No, but seriously, this is to power up the generator. Gas alone will not do it. I took the long way around, didn't I? Didn't realize this was a fuse box I could interact with. Now let's try this again. All right, now I feel like I'm making progress, finally. Uh-oh. And the basement door has closed behind us. Well, I guess we're going to be exiting a different way. Probably where the red light's coming from. Yep.
Oh yay, congratulations, hun. Also, welcome back. You got here just in time for the game to finally start getting spooky. Kinda. It's definitely dark, at least. And things have happened. Oh, I think I see specters. Could have swore I saw the flash of a shadow person. Ooh, my flashlight is not doing so well. Switch to the... Switch to the lighter for now. Yeah, those sirens are still going, too. People chaotically settled down in the cramped halls of a dungeon. One could feel the rising pressure. And it was time to tell everybody what was going on. There was a silence in the hall. Everybody was digesting what they had heard. And the horror of reality was coming slowly. The silence was broken by, uh... The silence was broken by a din from the outside. Everything was trembling. Plaster and dust had started to fall down from the walls and rooftops. It looked as if above there was a real hell, and the ground beneath us had shifted. The cannonade of walls was filled with a howl of r a rumble of exploding bombs roaring like the noise of aircraft engines. Yep. I did say this was post-apocalyptic, and I feel like this building that we're in is like, kind of like, you know... It's haunted, but it's, so it's like re reliving the memories of what happened during that time, you know? Okay. I feel like they make your flashlight flicker in this part so that you use the lighter instead because they want, they want you to use the lighter here for more like atmosphere reasons. I see you developers, I know the tricks of the trade. Uh-oh. I hear other footsteps and the violins are strumming. What could it mean? The strummity dum-dum stopped. Wait, this is just back the way I came. Why four in circles did I go? I have the great confusion. Nope, that's the way in. I got turned around. Can't see anything. I think that might be the point here. I think this is supposed to be a maze. Ah. Yeah, the flashlight doesn't work for shit here. Okay. It would be nice if I could actually see. I have to rely on the flashlight a little bit, otherwise I won't be able to see where I'm going. I guess that's what it meant by the game. This is this is why they gave it a photosensitivity warning because of this strobe shit right here. If this was a traditional horror game, I'd be fully expecting a jump scare. Okay, I think I'm supposed to go this way? No. What the fuck? I keep going in a big circle. Yeah, I'm lost. 
Who gave you the right? The right to what? Who gave you the right, huh? Huh? Maybe I'm just doing this looping corridor thing wrong. Maybe it's like layers of fear and I need to go backwards. I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe there's a turn I'm missing? Yeah, I, uh, I'm a fan of walking simulators. Um, I get, I'm, I'm finding it a little easy to get lost in this one so far, but uh, I'm enjoying the atmosphere for sure. Yeah, I've had this game uh, on my backlog for a little while and decided, hey, I'd, I'd finally give it a chance. I am, uh, I'm definitely lost here. I feel like I've circled through this same tunnel several times, and I have no idea if I'm missing a turn somewhere or something. Because I've played walking sims like everybody's gone to the rapture and what remains of Edith Finch, but man, <laughs> and those are pretty linear. Oh, wait, that's new. That's different. Where did this hallway come from? I didn't see it before. Hey, Wolf Brother Mythos, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, no, I've played all kinds of walking sims. Are those the shadows of the dead? Um, but mostly over on YouTube. I played... Everybody's gone to the Rapture on my own, um, and I got the Platinum Trophy in that. Then I played, um, I played What Remains of Edith Finch in a Let's Play over on my YouTube channel. Um, what other walking sims have I done? Oh, Paradise Lost. I also did a Let's Play of that over on YouTube. 24 days had passed and many people had died. Most cases were radiation treatment, but some died of starvation. We were running out of water and food. <laughs> I, I have to, hun. I'm a Let's Player and a live streamer. Once you finish one game, you gotta find another one to play. <clears throat> um, we, oh, where was I? Oh, three minutes start. We were running out of water and food. It is terrifying to witness this situation. That's, it is terrifying to witness this situation. That's hard. 638 people. Everybody had their own life and their own dreams. They had relatives, mothers, fathers. They had children! However, in one moment, all of that ceased to make any sense. So, did it make no sense in the past either, if we were coming to such finality? They are all already dead, and they didn't yet realize this. We are going to die, so we won't stall for time. Yeah, it is still on my, um... Still on my YouTube channel if you'd like to check it out. It's youtube.com forward slash Oversoul Gaming. And if you just, um, yeah, and if you just look under my playlists and scroll down a bit, you'll be able to find What Remains of Edith Finch on there somewhere and Paradise Lost and a few others. Um, I play a lot of indie games, I play a lot of horror games, mostly Indian horror games. I just finished In Sound Mine, be starting Visage soon. That game is fucking horrifying. <laughs> yes, there's a lot there, there's a lot to go, there's a lot to go through. I've been doing the, the, th the thing for like five years. Yes, and I, I played a round of Fortnite with the lovely Cupcake Tattooed. That was a Patreon- what the hell? Oh, that's spooky. Shh. 
Should I be worried about that? This isn't a game where you can die, from what I understand. What if I go face it directly, huh? Is there a jump scare? It doesn't seem like that kind of game, but... It's a little bit that kind of game, like I said earlier. That's the thing about a lot of these walking simulator type games, too, is that even though they don't... Even though they're not traditionally horror games, they will do things sometimes that make them feel like a horror game, right? So one of the most popular walking sim games is a game called Gone Home, which is, like, at its core, Gone Home is a metaphor for coming out. These are some horrifying sounds. Be like a haunted house sim, like, walking around thing. Um, but Gone Home had some, like, oppressive atmosphere and stuff, too. You know, you come home to an empty house, everything is dark, it's quiet, it's way too quiet, and you're, you're thinking to yourself, hmm, something ain't right here, but at the end of it, it's all just a big metaphor. But that's the thing, too. Um, a lot of these walking simulator games are often so empty, and the atmosphere is so oppressive, that even though you know you can't die, you know there's no enemies, and you know it's not a horror game, it still makes you feel a little uneasy at times. And that's just down to good game development, or, like, good um, audio and visuals on the game's part. So this was a dead end. Oh, but that teddy bear wasn't there before, was it? Did I... Oh, no, that's another dead end. So, you know, this is, if this was an actual horror game, I'd be worried that there's an enemy patrolling these halls right now, especially with all the stompy boots. Oh my god. That person right there, that ghost right there is hanging. They hung themselves. So these are the ghosts of the people who were trapped down here after the bombs went off. And I'm assuming a lot of them died down here, either from starvation or from, obviously, from taking their own life. Yeah. Oh, Jesus! The fuck was that? Okay, so there is a little bit of the jumpy scares in here. There's definitely ghosts in here, they're just not malicious ghosts. As far as I can tell, anyway. Okay. Okay. What is this now? Our character is breathing pretty heavily. I can't interact with this, so I'm just going to turn around and hope for the best. I seriously can't interact with this. Dude. Oh yeah, I hear those noises. It's spooky. Okay, now it's just repeating the same shit over and over again. Bang the drum, splash the water, make the person scream. Ah, here we go. Red lights indicate the way to go. Whoa, everything's getting a little warpy donkle, huh? Oh, this wasn't open before. Yeah, let's walk towards the person that hung themselves. That's not... Creepy at all? Okay, this means doors that weren't open before are open now, so I need to go back the other way. I get it. This is one of those games where you have to trigger the next event by looking at something or doing something or walking to somewhere. Visage has some of that shit, too. Like, at the end of Lucy's chapter... Yeah, I think this part was meant to make you feel uncomfortable. It's supposed to be kind of like a... This is the part where it kind of turns into a horror game a little bit. 
That's what walking simulators do, that kind of thing a lot. But no, yeah. Oop, I saw that. I saw that you tried to spook me. Oh, are you serious? I need a code? Again? All right. You know, real death is much scarier than what they usually try to show us in movies and literature. It's impossible to convey. One can only feel it. The smell, the oppressive energy of horror, the screams and groans, the feeling absorbs you entirely. Perhaps the only place where you can feel it is in a dream. In a dream, we can feel this incredible chilling fear beating the cold sweat right out of us. Maybe it's a dream. Maybe it is a dream. Who's to say? All right, now how do I go about finding a code in all of this nonsense land? I feel like my vision is really stretched out and blurred in front of me. Okay. Obviously, there's a code hidden somewhere in this hallway, in these hallways. Is that Morse code? Sometimes I overthink the puzzles when they're actually pretty simple. Oh, I see a six. That's a six right there, I think. Unless that doesn't count for what I'm looking for. You know that roar noise that keeps happening sounds like a sounds like a monster roaring somewhere deep in the tunnels. I'm pretty sure that's the same sound effect they use for the demon in Visage during Lucy's chapter. Well, yeah, but that, like, making things happen by looking at things to trigger the next event, that's totally a thing that they did there, too. As I said before, if it takes too long, I am not against looking it up if I have to. Frankly, because I don't know where the hell these numbers are supposed to be here. Like... I know I saw a six at one point, but I don't think... I'm not entirely sure that is actually what it is, you know? waste too much time on it, so I'm to understand that the code is 638, because I... How the fuck were you supposed to figure that out, though? I did see the 6, so maybe I was right. Now this place is the home for hundreds of souls who found... Here there is rest. I really, really, really hate, like, running around in circles forever and ever, uh, in games and trying to keep people entertained at the same time, and I get frustrated. I get so frustrated when that shit happens. Yeah?
Okay. Now that I'm back in the building, at least I think that's where I am, I'm definitely gonna have to figure out what to do next. Need the plank, or need the pipe here. Bam! Okay. Okay, that does not open. Oh, I see where I am now. Okay. Oh, shit. in this car? I mean, it was making noise. Uh -huh. A photo of people in front of the building. Okay. Hello. Oh. Okay. What's going on over here? Something is alarming over here. Oh no, it stopped. It stopped. Okay. Do any of these doors work yet? Of course not. God bless it all. Oh! This one opened. So, do some doors just not open until I reach a certain part of the narrative, then? I'm just going to assume that's the case. So, I had to go through that, sh that, that the, 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 the sewers stuff before I could open that door. Hello. What have we here? I guess it won't work without a coin. I hope you open. Seriously? Why does it keep leading me to locations where I have to do a thing, but then not... I hope. As soon as I figure out... Wait a minute. Oh, wow. 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 Whatever. Look, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Quite frankly, those of you who have been with me for a long time, you already know. You already fucking know. 
Okay. Uh. Uh. Is this. Am I doing this right? I should probably turn off my light. Yeah, that's screwing me. No! God damn it. It would help if there was a shadow. I hope this is right. Aha! Yes! Don't you dare drop it. I will be so pissed. Thank you. Now, what is this shit? Better have been worth it, whatever it was. If I could interact with it, that would be nice. Thank you. What did I pick up? It doesn't even tell me what I picked up. I'm so confused. What did I do? I still need to find the lecture room key. No idea where that is. I mean, I don't know how I don't know. But clearly I missed it somewhere. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the thing is I just picked up either, by the way. Whatever was in that box, I have no idea what it is, because it didn't tell me. I need to get in here. At some point, somehow. I just don't know how. Is here another door open? I feel like I've been pretty much everywhere. Am I missing something outside in one of those other buildings, maybe? This one of the exits? I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What am I missing? I've already been in here, but still. Yeah, I got an item out of here. Okay, there's nothing else to do in that building, then. <clears throat> and what about the other one? There was another building over here, right? I do believe that is the case. I do believe, I do believe. Alright. Where's the other build? Okay, it's... No, wait. I didn't pass it already. No. No, 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 no. I know about the bus here, but I could have swore there was two buildings outside of the main one. Two smaller buildings. I'm just gonna have to go around in all these rooms again and look, because clearly I missed something. On a shelf, perhaps. No? Nothing on the table. Okay. No. Alright, I've already been through all that mess. What 
other rooms are there? I think there are some around this corner, right? I want to check all of them on the first floor before I go back up to the second one, just in case. Just in case. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. Aha! Here's a key. Is that the one I need? I don't know, but I'm gonna fucking find out. Uh, where's the lecture room now? I don't understand a word of that. <laughs> I hope it's not important. Okay. This better work, or I'm going to be angry. Oh, thank God. Thank God, because I was going to say, if that key was for another room that I didn't even discover yet, and I have to go there before I can do the thing, it was... Uh, uh. Okay, dokie. Well, here's the lecture room I've been waiting on. Ooh, is that a, is it a spooky ghost sitting up there waiting on me? Oh, it looked like a person sitting there crossing their arms, but it was in fact the projector. I have something for you. Of course, the power's out. All right, what are we gonna do about that? Follow the cable? Which way does it go? It, it, okay, well, that's not gonna work. Ow, okay. <clears throat> Over here, maybe? Ah, yes, of course. Oh, okay, what have we here? Oop. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, I got this. I got this. No biggie. No biggie at all. No biggie, no small. You have to be doing the thing. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Interesting puzzle. I see what they need. Getting there, though? <laughs> That's gonna be a bitch. I feel like the reds and the blues need to connect to each other in a certain way. See, though, that doesn't make a lot of sense right there. But that doesn't make sense either. It doesn't work that way. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, and I remember having to do puzzles like this um, when playing the Saw game. I did the replay on the PS3 and like on a timer because you're trying to save someone from a trap. Yeah, stressful. Okay, I'm actually, I, this is just like a rotating thing puzzle, so it shouldn't be that hard. But the problem is I can't seem to figure out like how the wires are supposed to connect to each other. 
exactly. I do feel like it's a case of, like, red and blue... Cro oh, I see. They kind of, like, cross over each other a bit. And I'm not exactly... I'm not, I don't think... I don't think I'm doing it right. But I think it's also in part because, like, it, the, the app isn't full screen because I'm trying to keep an eye on everything with Streamlabs and stuff. So I need two monitors. I need two monitors. I can't see what I'm doing in this game because the picture isn't big enough. I need... <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, I think. Okay. Let me think. beyond confused by this puzzle you know sometimes the method is you just keep hitting enough buttons and eventually something will happen <laughs> see <laughs> that's how video games work okay so can I put the film in the thing now Good. We get to watch a movie. I hope you brought the poppity cord. Progress will demolish humanity. War. Conflicts. Chasing any new technologies. The willing of endless enrichment. is our disease. Our arrogance and faith in our omnipotence will bring us to the logical end. It won't be long. But in the end, When we will be gone, nature will say thank you. <laughs> Boy, that couldn't possibly be any more on the nose if they tried. <laughs> Holy shit. That's like the same level as on the nose as that, like, that, um, that scene from Captain Marvel when she finally gets all of her powers and that, that, that very obvious song starts playing. No, but seriously, um... <laughs> oh my god. As if... as it, uh, I mean, it was already good at doing it subtly by having, like, it being post-apocalyptic and the vegetation overtaking the empty school and stuff, but you... 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 You took it... <laughs> you took it too far by just making it way too obvious. Art is better when it's subtle. Not so much when it's in your face. And... And that was very in your face. 
Oh boy. All right, now what? Ooh, that's dark. Oh, hello. What weirdness is this? I mean, that's true. That's true. It is, it is a message, but I feel like... So when you convey a message in an entertainment medium, it's usually better if it's conveyed in a metaphorical fashion through the narrative or visual storytelling or something. When you just outright say, hey, this is what I'm trying to say, then it kind of... It feels forced, you know what I mean? Like they're shoving it down your throat. That's why I like things that are open to interpretation or a little more ambiguous sometimes because it gives it gives uh, it gives credence to the art is subjective mentality, you know. Well, this is interesting. Are they all descending to the heavens? See now this right here, this is what I like. See, this is this is the kind of this this imagery right here says a lot without saying anything at all. And that is hauntingly beautiful. But man, the we're all gonna destroy ourselves because of technology story is so tired and cliche. <laughs> I did like this game though. Granted, it, it has, like, a terrible, um, it's, it needs a little more, like, um, sense of direction. But otherwise, it's a good game. A good, a good little, short little walking simulator. Are we, I mean, are we at the end, though? I don't actually know if we're at the end or not. Whee! Oh, thanks for the follow! Now, how would I say that? Is it, is it wood, is it woodkins? I'm gonna need a pronunciation. I really appreciate that follow. I don't stream as much as I, as much as I should. I'm trying to do it more. I usually, I mostly do like pre-recorded Let's Plays over on YouTube and music videos and highlight reels and stuff like that. <clears throat> is that us? Were we dead the whole time, and we were in some kind of purgatory, and now we get to ascend to the heavens? Wow, this game basically is Diet Visage. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh my god. No, not at all. They are nothing alike. I just can't help but draw comparisons when it's the most re recent thing I've played. And that's a game that'll stick with you, let me tell you. <laughs> uh. Есть что-то прекрасное в заброшенных и полуразрушенных останках былой цивилизации. Это сголоски нашей многогранной истории. Величественные сооружения некогда процветающего человечества, безумовно доживающие свой век, проросшие зеленью, потрепанные войной и временем, являются отпечатком великой эпохи, эпохи тех, кто был слишком самоуверен и беспечен. This game is in desperate need of subtitles. Жесток, кто, к сожалению, или может к счастью, не смог отстоять свое право на жизнь. I'm not sure what game I'm going to stream next. I'm going to have to look into it. Sometimes I do co-streams with Cupcake Tattooed or RMK Buried Alive. Um, yeah, I had the... I, I went to turn subtitles on, but they didn't... They weren't. There isn't a subtitles op option. Language is in English, but they, that was not English. <laughs> but there is no option for subtitles in this game. Otherwise, they would be on. I always have subtitles on by default in any game I play, so that it's easier for the audience to hear it, just in case. But all right, well, that was in Rays of the Light. Not a bad little, not a bad little walking sim. 
I feel like maybe there's some stuff that I missed, but... I'm gonna go back and replay it on my own and try to get the Platinum Trophy. I heard it's pretty easy Platinum. So... This is one of those games, they said once you know what you're doing, like what to do, you can speedrun this game in like 20 minutes. I enjoyed that. I do need to stream more though. I'll need to, I'll figure out what I'll stream more. I might play some more Fortnite with Cupcake at some point. Might do something. But anyways, that'll be it for this live stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. Let me see if I can find someone to raid out to. So anyways, yep, that's it for this live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody who joined me live. And if you're watching this as an archive over on YouTube, let me know what you thought in the comments down below and click that like button if you enjoyed it. And as always, I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely at another time, and likely in another live stream. Okay, goodbye.